Verbs in English can be one word, but they can also be many words. Here we're going to look at four ways in which verbs are actually more than one word: multi-word verbs or phrasal verbs, auxiliary verbs, modal verbs, or making a verb phrase by adding adverbs. So, firstly, multi-word verbs or phrasal verbs. So, as I mentioned, most verbs have one word. So, be, go, have can be one-word verbs. But some verbs have two or more verbs. So, for example, go out, break up, catch up. It's been estimated that there might be five thousand phrasal verbs in English, and there are other videos on this channel,、uh, such as looking at the word. Get and fifty phrasal verbs with get. So there's a lot to learn, and you need to learn them as um, unique um, chunks of vocabulary. So when you see a phrasal verb, don't think of it as being two or three separate words. Think of it as being one word, all collective, with its own individual meaning. Because sometimes the meaning is not obvious from the words、um, put together. Um, there are some、um, verbs that commonly start a multi-word verb phrase. So multi-word verb phrases、um, frequently occur after words like carry, come, go, get, make, put, and take. There's lots and lots of phrasal verbs that start with those words. So it could be good to begin with looking at words like those if you are to build up your knowledge of phrasal verbs. Um, auxiliary verbs also make a verb phrase longer. So these are words that help make tenses, questions, and negatives.、Uh, so there are many of these, but briefly, I don't think so. Here we use do and not to make the negative verb phrase. Do you think so? Again, do makes the question, but do and think is considered to be a verb phrase together. I have been a long time.、Um, so here, have and the past participle makes the present perfect tense. But a lot of tenses involve using an auxiliary to make verb phrases. And I am coming quickly. So here, we're using the verb to be to make the present continuous. So auxiliary verbs is probably something you're more common with if you're watching a video like this. But this turns a verb into a verb phrase as well. Modal verbs also,、uh, most English learners will be common,、uh, will be familiar with, and these add a condition to the main verb. So some examples, not all, some are can, could, may, must, should, will, and would. And again, I have several videos on this channel dedicated to these modal verbs. Compare she plays in the park with she must play in the park. So in the second sentence, there's an extra condition on play. She doesn't just play, but she must play. So here, it's an obligation. And finally, we can make a verb phrase by adding adverbs, and these add information to the main verb, telling us how the main verb happens. Compare she plays in the park. With she always plays in the park. So now we have more information about the, the activity and the manner of the verb. Not simply plays, but always plays. We now know more about the verb, and this makes a longer verb phrase. Where do we place the adverb? We'll place it before the verb in most cases, as in the example on the screen, but after the verb with to be. And auxiliaries. So those are four ways that we can make a verb phrase, and it's just important to know this because when we're identifying the main verb in the sentence, it's important to know where the verb phrase starts and where the verb phrase ends. So、um, make sure you're confident in using all of those four methods for making longer verb phrases.